how do you end your own daughter, man? I guess the other question is why? Hold up. Any, any death we have to treat like a crime scene? <laughs> um, I, I know this is extremely difficult for you. Um, this is a normal process that, that we have to follow through with. I don't want you to be blindsided by anything, but that's that's what's going to be going on for right now. Right? By the way, um, the description of this video, it's saying that bro allegedly left his daughter in his hot car for hours to play video games. Allegedly. Look, that's just what that's what it's saying. Hold on. Let me read y'all a quick little uh, description before I run this, bro. It's saying police body cam footage shows 37-year-old Christopher Schultz moments after learning that his two-year-old daughter had died after being left in a hot car in 109 degrees Fahrenheit heat. Schultz was arrested in July, accused of leaving his daughter Parker in the car while he played video games. He was initially charged with second-degree murder, according to reports. Schultz left the child in the car because she was asleep when they returned home from shopping and he didn't want to wake her the charge has since been upgraded to first degree murder to which the 37 year old has pleaded not guilty look it is a crazy hold on let me go back to the video it is a crazy crazy accusation to be to be accused of murking and ending your own daughter but when it when a situation is that weird bro why would, as a grown adult right bro you're 37 like bro you're double my age i'm not saying you shouldn't be playing video games look that's up to you what i'm saying is you're a father first and foremost even if your child is sleeping you don't leave them in the car bro you don't leave them outside in the car man i've never heard of that beforehand that's not only a shit excuse, but that makes me even more suspicious of you. Who says she won't get kidnapped if you left her in the car? Who said? Let me play the video a little bit, bro. By anything, but that's that's what's gonna be going on for right now, okay? So I'm being treated like a murderer? No, I not, just lost my. Video. Not at all. I know <laughs> that, and I know this isn't easy for you. That's that's why I'm trying to be straightforward and honest with you, okay? I don't want to keep any secrets. I don't want to hide anything for you. Someone's going to talk to you about what happened, though. All right? We will keep you updated with everything. My whole family, my, my whole family is going to be ruined. So we'll be all right. So we, we can't let you do that right now. We have to stand by with you okay as soon as you i'm can, sorry we'll i'm sorry i swear to god i'm not trying to excuse uh, uh, look it is a crazy accusation it is a massive massive accusation to say that you as a father tried to kill your daughter but nowadays we live in a wicked world so we don't know right but what kind of person I, and then y'all can correct me if i'm wrong y'all can let me know right bro if i just found out let me reword that if you just found out god forbid that your anybody in your life died bro you would not be thinking about no shower if anything you would be too depressed to shower bro you would be so depressed to the point where you would you would forget brushing your teeth you would forget showering you would be up in there bro you would be you would be you wouldn't stop crying bro you wouldn't be able to move now add on top of that the person that died is literally your daughter and you still have energy and the, the you want to take a shower bro i'm sorry uh, am i like reaching by saying that's a little bit weird like i said i i hold on man this is crazy on so many levels we'll let you, you know. stay in the room if you want but I'm gonna i know this isn't easy for you but the quicker we get this done and finish up the sooner you can be with your wife all right I'm we, trying, we I'm trying to, to stand by with you. so I can go to the hospital know, but and be with my wife. We're not going to shower anything right now. You need to stand by with us. I don't understand why. Okay. Just to explain, the officers are treating this like a crime scene, so they can't let Christopher Schultz shower because at this point, they really don't know what they're dealing with. They can't let him possibly wash away evidence of a crime, and he is not happy that he cannot shower. Please. I don't understand why. I, I tried explaining that to you. We just need to stand Why by. I'm you. standing by. Why can't I take I a shower while you stand by? What what is? It's it's not necessary right now. Okay. I'm not going to stand here and watch you shower. There will be time for that, but it's not right now. Okay. The officers stay with Schultes, but he wants to go to the hospital. But they don't let him leave. If I go with you guys, can we leave now? 
Not right now. So we're waiting on some of our detectives to call right now. Um, and they've been here since. At one point in the video, you can hold up. Uh, we got a part two, man. Let's run it. Get a statement from you about what happened, what's been going on. Obviously, I know this isn't easy for you. Okay, it's not easy for anyone around right now. We're gonna keep you updated with everything we hear. Do you want to sit down somewhere? Where would you be most comfortable? You want me to refill this for you? I'm sorry, man. I, I just can't. I, I'm still, my brain, like, is still stuck on what I read earlier to y'all, bro. And I want y'all to get down in the comments and speak to me, bro. Even if you don't comment normally, like, like genuinely let me know. Isn't it weird? Like, that's a crazy statement. It's not, isn't it? It is weird. That's a crazy statement, bro. To say that you left your daughter in the car so you don't disrupt her sleep, but it is super hot outside and it's not like you're going to a job interview or you have something or su like something super important that you have to go to where to where your kid can't come with you it's you're in your house playing video games for hours allegedly can i sit is that all right it's fine and what what happened today we went to go uh back around and we Oh, we didn't sound good. We just came home. My daughters were at Elevate with uh, my friend next door. They got home about uh, 2.45 or so. And then um, we've just been hanging out at home. She was sleeping in the car and I had the car on. Um, but it has a sensor where every 30 minutes or so it'll turn off if you haven't moved. Um, hmm. Hmm. So, you knowing that, why would you let her sit there for over 30 minutes? Like I said, allegedly. Allegedly she was up in there for like two, three hours, bro. That is a crazy... I mean, what game are you playing, bro? It's 2024. None of these games even are that good, bro. Look, y'all might have noticed I got back on COD, bro. And I know some of y'all get on my ass for the gameplays. You know, some of it is fire. Some of it might be, you know, up against some try-hard nerds that have been playing this for the past five years. I don't even got a good PC for that shit in general, bro. I got to get that upgraded soon. But here's what I'm getting at, bro. What game had you sitting there for three hours glued to your screen, addicted and completely forgetting about your daughter that's in the car, bro? You know every 30 minutes it turns off, so why would you leave her in there for longer? Something doesn't add up, y'all. Something does not add up in this entire equation. I swore she was in the house playing with her sisters like she always does. Just been right now, I haven't been doing anything else really on the house. And <laughs> like What time? Well, we never do this anywhere, but I'm a home, right? Like you're, you're, you're home, you're safe. You're like, your kids are home. Schultz then explained why he parked in the driveway and how long Parker was in the car. I'm, I'm sorry, this is all going on. We always park that car in the garage so. usually, but I just got a Peloton recently and the Peloton is in the garage now. So that's why it's okay. not even in the garage, but. And how long was she sleeping in the car out there? I want to say it was no more than 30, 45 minutes. And I don't think the air was off that entire time. I think there was a time in between. I had checked on her last, but it was still running. She was still sleeping. And then when I went back out. Look, look, this is a, this is one of those situations where I can't give y'all a clear cut answer. Not can't, but like I won't. Personally, I am not gonna sit here and accuse a man of ending and working and smoking his own daughter, bro. Because that is a crazy accusation and it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make logical sense. You, as a human being, you would never do something like that, right? I don't know what this is. Is it, let me know in the comments. Is it just incompetence? Is it him just being incompetent and leaving his daughter in there for too long and you know it killed her or was it something more nefarious because i can't pinpoint or give a clear-cut answer but it's a lot of gray in this video right and in the description here let me read that again it said that his charge was upped 
Yeah, it says that the charge has since been upgraded to first degree murder, to which the 37 year old has pleaded not guilty. Let me look, even though this is a credible source, let me just double check on this shit, man. All right, look, just because I'm curious and I need a, a second source on this, bro, here's uh, something from the New York Post or whatever. It's saying that a 37 year old father of three claimed he only left Parker Schultz sleeping inside his 2023 Acura MDX for 30 minutes after returning home from shopping because he didn't want to wake her. But newly released court records show he fiddled with video games for more than three hours until his horrified doctor wife came home and found the girl dead inside his car. Like I said, what game got bro locked in for three hours that he forgot about his kid? I really do wonder, man. I'm not even like joking or be funny, but I'm genuinely curious because most games, you know, you have like a loading screen, you have some time off, you know, you have some time to like think about shit to get on your phone, bro. Like anyways, I told you to stop leaving them in the car, Erica Schultz, an anesthesiologist, I think that's how you say it, scolded her husband in text messages after July 9 tragedy, the outlet reported. How many times have I told you, babe, I'm sorry, the accused killer allegedly responded, babe, our family, how could I do this? I killed our baby, this can't be real. Erica Schultz called Parker perfect during the heartbreaking exchange. Christopher Schultz told police he arrived at their home and Tuxin suburb of Marina or Marana around 2 30 p.m. and parked the car outside because the garage was clogged with exercise equipment. He said he forgot the girl was still in her car seat before his wife came home at 4 p.m. and made the horrific discovery. But surveillance footage reviewed by the police shows he that he arrived outside the house shortly after 12 30 p.m leaving Parker in the car in 109 degree weather for more than three hours. You know what this could be though, bro? This could be just, and this is what what's making sense in my mind. I think, I'm not going to say the most likely, but one of the likelier, you know, uh, outcomes or situations that happen here is that he did forget her in the car for that long. This is pure incompetence and he was playing the game. But once he did discover it, the reason why he's lying is because he doesn't want it to sound bad. He doesn't want to admit that he was on I don't know, whatever game he was playing for three hours and his 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 daughter died because of it. He doesn't want it. So he wants to say 30 minutes. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say here? It could still, even though they're trying to word it as something that he did intentionally, this could still be just pure incompetence to where he completely forgot about her and he was just playing the video game for that long. But since she died, he doesn't want it to make it sound like he was playing the video game for that long, if y'all get what I'm trying to say. Here's the last part to this though. Saying according to a complaint filed in his case, he got distracted by playing his game and putting his food away while the couple's other two children told cops that their dad regularly left all three siblings alone in the car while he was in the house. And this further supports what I said because it's it's more like this is a habit. It's not something new. Like if this was something new, if if he never leaves his kids in the car, bro, and this is the one time that he did it and it's also the one time that she died, then yeah, you could say that he could be the quote unquote labeled a killer or whatever. But that's not the case here, y'all. That's, that's not the case here. So in court Friday, he was charged with murder and child endanger endangerment. His wife pleaded with the judge to release him pending trial, calling the fatal flub a big mistake. I'm just asking if you can allow him to come to us so that we can all start the grieving process so we can bury our daughter and uh, to bury our daughter with us this coming week and that we can go through this whole process together as a family. This was a big mistake. It does not represent him. His wife said, I just want the girls to see their father that I don't want to tell them tonight that they're going to have to endure another loss. The judge set bail at $25,000 despite a request from prosecutors for $1 million bond. This gives us a lot more perspective and I need to put my goddamn, hold on. Look, this gives us a lot more perspective and hearing the full story, bro. And this is this is why it's super important that I break this down for y'all further, because now it's looking like something to where it was just pure incompetence, because I guess the main point that I'm stuck on. The biggest indicator to me that this is incompetence is the fact that he's regularly done this with all three, bro. He just comes home. He leaves him in the car. He gets in the house. Look, all I'm saying is I've never done that. You know, that's just I guess that's a habit that some people have. First time hearing about it. But it's a habit nonetheless. It's not his first time doing it. This time, bro was caught up with the video games and he was playing for a long time. And then, you know, when he realized that it actually ended his daughter because he was just distracted for that long. He wanted to lie and say it's 30 minutes so he doesn't look that incompetent.
Do you guys get what I'm trying to say here? Now, please get down in the comments and speak to me. Let me know what you guys think about this. It's a very sad situation. You know, may God have mercy on that little girl's soul, bro. That is, it's a very tragic situation. Y'all got to be more careful, man, especially if you got kids. Keep them under your eye, bro. And that's pretty much it from me. I'm out.